South Bay, Devin, that was our camera looking across Santa Clara Valley from the hills on the west side. I want to show you a few more to give you an idea on how this morning is playing out very differently, depending on what part of the bay you're in. Right here on the front lines, Golden Gate Bridge, it's plenty gray. And it's been that way along the coast. But let's take a look at a couple of other cameras. That's the view on the Golden Gate where we've already gotten some light rain, some light mist, I should say, out of this. Nothing measurable. But don't be surprised if you're anywhere near the coast today or the hills along the peninsula and you get out on the road and you notice the roads are a bit damp. The clouds have been just misting out a little bit with a, a minor little assist from a weak weather system that is going to try to bring light rain to the North Bay later today. We're going to look at that in the future cast in one second. It's not going to have a big impact on the weekend, but it's interesting nonetheless. That's Walnut Creek. Low clouds here spilling over the East Bay Hills, but not really obscuring the view here. Uh, Tri-Valley, that's you. Low clouds have made it into the Tri-Valley. We're looking at the split here along 580 and 680 out over Dublin and Pleasanton, and that's that scene once again over the South Bay. So we're in the mid and upper 50s in most locations. We start out pretty comfortably temperature-wise. The clouds never go away completely today. This is a future cast taking us through Saturday afternoon. The marine layer hangs on at the Golden Gate all day, so it'll stay gray right, you know, like over Alcatraz and the city and the immediate East Bay. And the high clouds hang on as well. You will get plenty of blue sky, don't get me wrong. It'll be a lot like the tour we just did. Today's pretty much going to look like that for most of the day. And the daytime highs to go along with that, low to mid-70s if you're inland. Mid to upper 60s, right along the Bay shoreline. Santa Rosa will be watching that temperature. You likely won't get out of the mid to upper 60s all day today. Okay, that's rain right now from a weather system right off the far northwest coast. First alert Doppler sees it up there. Futurecast shows us that wants to bring some light rain our way as we get into the late afternoon and early afternoon let's, uh, and early evening. Let's come in for a close-up look at that. And you'll see the showers here that fall apart here up along the North Bay as we get into the late afternoon and early evening tonight. If we get any rain out of that, it'd be really light. Doubt you would really even notice a whole lot, but the clouds are going to stick around. As a result, we don't get anything measurable from it. That's Saturday. Sunday, it gets a bit breezy. So as we look at our forecast for Carnival, there's no rain in this forecast. It's going to be more blue sky than anything else. Of course, here in the Mission, where it's always going to be sunnier than most other locations in the city anyway. But read the fine print down here. It will be breezy, and you can see that play out as we look at Sunday. Onshore flow is going to pick up and watch the screen light up. There's the mission getting a 22-mile-an-hour gust on Sunday afternoon going into the evening. We'll likely see that breeze for most locations that are near the water on Sunday, whether it's coast or bay shoreline. rest of the forecast looks great, including that Memorial Day when the winds will have calmed down. We'll clear the skies out. Monday looks great. And it's noticeably warmer by the time we get into the middle of this next week with daytime highs climbing up to near 90 for inland valleys by Wednesday.